The next uh, type of validity that I want to talk about is what's called predictive. Predictive validity. And this is quite straightforward. Essentially what you're saying is that if you are accurately measuring, uh, you are correctly measuring, validly measuring a construct, then that measurement there should be, you know, if the person has the construct you are measuring, then they should also do certain things in the future that go along with that construct. So if you are measuring aggression and you have correctly measured that this person has a high level of aggression, then in the future they ought to behave aggressively. So predictive validity is basically saying if, you're, if your measurement has predictive validity then the measure the measure accurately correctly predicts that's a, that's all it's saying it it accurately or correctly predicts things and that's why it's called predictive validity when we say that it predicts we're saying it predicts some some effect that the construct you're measuring or that you claim you're measuring should have uh, some effect that the construct should have so based on your understanding of the construct based on the current best theory about this subject the best understanding of aggression as the research stands well we should be able to predict you know that that uh, should uh, say that there's going to be something that person's going to do in the future so uh, let me give you just one more example of this to make sure that it's that it's clear. Um, when we talk about something like the uh, SAT or ACT, these are tests we give people to see if they're ready for college. So when we have something like the SAT or the ACT, we are claiming that we are measuring what we might call college preparedness. How, how prepared someone is for college. That's the underlying construct that we are claiming to be measuring. If the person does indeed have that construct, so in other words, we measure a person, we say, yes, their level of college preparedness is high, well, then the presence of a high level on that construct should also lead to something concrete in the future like, uh, like success, in college, right? They should get high grades, they should have a high GPA, they, they should complete their degree, whatever measure of success we're using, the scores on the ACT and SAT should predict their level of success in college. So if they have low scores, it should predict a low level of success. If they have high scores, it should predict a high level of success. Obviously, that doesn't always happen. You can get very low ACT or SAT scores and you can still succeed in school, or you can get really high scores and still flunk out. And it's, so it's not a perfect predictor, which means it's not a perfect measurement of the construct. But to the extent that it does predict their success in college, we would say it is valid. So measurements don't have to be perfect, but you get use these techniques like predictive validity to help show evidence that it is, to a greater or lesser extent, a valid measurement of that thing. In this case, you're using the measurement's ability to predict something that should logically follow from that construct, theoretically, um, to show that the measurement is indeed valid.